welcome to the first video in the Acontis LXWIN tutorial video series. LXWIN is a powerful, real-time hypervisor that enables you to run real-time Linux alongside Windows. Over the course of these videos, we will cover a variety of topics to help you get started with and use LXWIN. In this video, we will walk you through installing the software, creating and selecting your workspace, configuring the system, and then starting up and running the Linux RTOS alongside Windows. We will also provide an overview of the documentation, files and folders related to the software, and how to configure the system to automatically start a real-time application when the Linux RTOS boots. After you have downloaded the software package and extracted the archive to a folder, open it and execute the installer application. You will need to agree to the license terms and then the necessary components will be installed. Once the installer is finished, open the System Manager application. You can find the System Manager application under the LXWIN folder in the Start menu or just at the top in the recently added programs. The first thing the System Manager will prompt you to select is your workspace. The workspace is a folder location that will store your projects and other necessary settings. The default location is within the app data folder in your user directory, but for this video, we will specify an alternate folder location. Now you can add an RTOS to your configuration by clicking the Add RTOS button and selecting the Linux option. Before we set up things related to Linux, we will first assign a CPU from the overall system purely for the Linux RTOS. Expand the global settings and click on CPU assignment. Here you will need to specify which CPU core you want to use for the Linux OS, and only one should be assigned for Linux, the rest left for Windows. Next, click on the configuration menu under the RTOS, and you can see the CPU core that you just assigned to it. By default, LXWIN will allocate 256 megabytes of RAM, but you can change that here. After these initial settings, you can save the configuration and a reboot of Windows will be required. After the reboot, open System Manager again and click the green Start button to launch the Linux RTOS. If you receive an error like we have here, open the log file from the Help menu. At the bottom of the log file, you should see the error and a reason for the error. A likely error on newer systems is that the Local Advanced Programmable Interrupt Controller, or APIC for short, will be running in X2 APIC mode, and LXWIN requires the Local APIC be configured to X APIC mode. The command to set the Local APIC to X APIC is provided in the log file, so you can copy the command and then run the command in a command prompt with administrator rights. After changing the local APIC mode, you will need to restart Windows. Now that the local APIC is in the correct mode, you should have no problems starting the Linux RTOS. So open System Manager again and start the RTOS. The console will open and you can see the Linux RTOS booting up. Once finished booting, you will be prompted to log in. The default username and password are both root. You can check the version with the uname command. At this point, congratulations, you've successfully set up LXWIN and are running real-time Linux alongside Windows. For more information about the features and capabilities of LXWIN and to help you with your development, we provide a few different manuals that you can find from the help menu. We also provide a variety of example applications both for the real-time Linux and for Windows. You can access these examples by opening the real-time environment root folder from the file menu. This folder contains everything needed for the configuration and operation of the real-time hypervisor environment. Browse up a directory to the LXWIN folder and you will find the examples within the SDK folder. Now we will demonstrate how to configure the system to automatically start an application in Linux after it boots up. Open the current workspace either from the file menu or simply by clicking on the workspace folder link at the bottom right of System Manager. Browse to the configuration folder and open the System Manager user settings configuration file. 
This configuration file follows some general rules and syntax similar to a Windows registry file that is described in the LXWin manual. This entry here will tell the Linux RTOS to start the included example application called Real-Time Demo. Make sure you save the changes and you can confirm that they were saved by opening the System Manager User Configuration file again from the Configuration menu. Since the RTOS was still running from before, you need to stop it and restart it. Upon restarting, you can see that when the Linux RTOS starts up, it automatically runs the example application, which is showing some performance numbers. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching, and hopefully that helps you get started with using LXWin and on your way to developing a real-time application within Windows. If you liked this video and would like to see more videos about LXWin or our other products, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for other videos that you would find helpful, please leave a comment below or you can contact us on our website.